Hello everyone and welcome to my uh, PSF1 highlights. This is uh, round 11 I do believe, so crunch time now in the season. Um, Lego, uh, Louis did get pole, sorry, myself second and Lego third. But in, in terms of the start, I mean, you can see we're actually running quite low wins. I do believe I was running 3-2 or 3-3, three, three, but it was, it was very low nonetheless. And you can see um, we do actually get a pretty good run um, coming into turn one. and. I gave enough room because I obviously I saw cars there and Louis being one of them but um, you know this race as a whole for me uh, was very uh, was very frustrating and you'll see um, towards the end of the race what actually happened um, I'm pretty sure everyone watching this and everyone in PSF1 knows what happened and obviously knows that what happened got deemed as a racing incident which you know I can't you know scream and shout and go oh, well why you know because you know it's not going to get me anywhere so uh, I need to put my head down and um, focus on the last race, which is Malaysia. So uh, yeah, uh, but anyway, lap one still got the lead from Louis. Uh, again, just what I wanted to do really: get off the line, get a good start, be a little bit aggressive, and it's worked. And at this point, I wasn't complaining. You know, Lego was back in third, so I thought happy days. I knew Louis wanted to win this race, but yeah. Is what it is. I can't really, you know, I can sit here and moan and groan all I want about what happened this race, but it's not going to get me nowhere. I need to forget about it and focus on Malaysia, where, you know, arguably I do need to win and I'm going in for the win. So uh, it's going to be a very good finale for me and for everyone involved. So just make it a good one. But I actually ended lap one, still got the lead. Three temps to Louis. Um, Louis himself said he's very confident in the third set, and you'll see that. Um, coming up when he does eventually overtake me, which I do believe is on lap five, and yet lap five, Louis is right behind us. But again, our straight lines. He's got DRS to remember, and he still can't get, you know, get alongside us. But he's going to go for a really good switchback here, and he is going to get the move done. So uh, I, 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 in the end, decided to back up because he goes a little bit deep, and you know, if I'd have kept my nose there, we could have easily tangled, but. Uh, managed to uh, just let him pass. I knew but not really Louis. I was fighting, but actually, you know, end of lap nine, Louis actually got a very good lead to me now. So I mean, my tyres really start to go off at this point, and I do decide to pit, and Lego decides to pit as well. And as I break, you can see he hits me, and I actually almost get a five-second stop go for that. So That's fair. Please tell me uh, you saw that. I wasn't impressed, as, as you can tell by my reaction. But can you know, you just that, uh, what happened there was good. is what. Well, why Louis did what he did after the pit stop. I'm so, break for the pits, and I literally almost got a five seconds. Yeah, I mean, you'll see it. as I come out the pits because I do believe. The I mean, the only man. thing that happened when I come out the pits was Louis being an absolute bust and busting me up. Um. To uh, to Lego behind, and it does actually work, but it's just the way he done it, in my opinion, which you know I didn't agree with. But anyway, we're going to come out the pits ahead of Lego. Obviously, Lego needed a wing change and. At that point, he did ask Louis to uh, hold me up so he could catch back up. Which, you know, fair play. I'm, you know, I'm down for team orders and that, but it's just the way he done it, in my opinion. It just wasn't wasn't safe in any way. But um, yeah, moving on, we're actually going to go skip to the end of the race. And it's actually going to be a live reaction again. So I'll see you after. That. What are you doing, you fuck? Oh my god, man! <sighs> so uh, there you go, guys. That's what happened. Um, as you can tell by my reaction, I wasn't impressed at all. Um, coming from Libya, I spent much better racing. So you know, I can only expect that. In the last round, none of none of them shenanigans happen. Uh, T Bar did actually let us pass at the end, so uh, fair play to him. Uh, I did say thank you to him in the party um, several times because a five point lead for Lego is definitely doable. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean it could have been a lot worse. Uh, Louis could have just could have just let Lego win, but um, Lego just 
I don't know why Lego didn't win. I, I asked him this and he said that Louis wanted to win, so we gave him the win, which is you know, fair enough to a point, but you're fighting for a championship, you know? If you'd have won, then 13 points is a lot harder to come back from than five. But uh, yeah, that's been uh, a of from Russia. A lot shorter. Um, I do apologise for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, and on another note, my streaks are gone. Podium streak is gone due to that incident. And um, my pole streak is gone. So uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of bad things at Russia. But uh, I'm hoping to bounce back hugely in Malaysia. And I'll see you then for the PSF1 finale of, I do believe, Season 7. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and goodbye. <laughs>